Hello music lovers! In this complete tutorial we're going to learn how to play the jaw hop in 10 minutes, maybe under 10 minutes. Of course, mastering anything takes way more than that, but in this tutorial you'll get enough so that you can continue your jaw hop journey on your own. First you want to start off by picking the right instrument. There is a variety of, of jaw hops in the world, but it's important to have a nice hop to start with because this way it's much more rewarding and fun and in fact easier to learn as well. I'd highly recommend the Pavel Popkin um, Altai Komus because it has wide gaps and uh, a fairly loud sound and um, it has a pleasant reed stiffness so that it's not too hard or too soft, it's just right. Furthermore, it's ridiculously cheap so that you can start playing without breaking the bank. And besides, you can always upgrade later. How does a jaw hop even work? Have you ever tried letting a ruler vibrate while pressing it against the table? The concept is very much similar with the jaw hop. All sound is simply vibration. In the case of the jaw hop, you're playing the role of the table. The reed of the harp takes the role of the ruler. This also works with strings um, and etc. Practically anything you can set in motion. On top of that, your body serves as a resonant chamber, much like the hollow body of a guitar. While the reed is vibrating, you can drastically affect the tonality by manipulating your throat, glottis, tongue, etc. Next up, how to hold a jaw hop properly. Well, there is really no one single correct way to hold the jaw hop. Just keep in mind that you want uh, it fixed nicely against the teeth. Not too loose, not too tight. You want the harp to not rattle around, but also not clench it so hard that your hand fatigues in no time. Of course, let, make sure that the reed moves freely. How to actually play the jaw hop? Before we move on, remember to plug, the, to plug the trigger inwards, at least in the beginning. This is the safest method and will protect your teeth very well. It's also easier to control and generally produces a nicer sound. Now to the actual playing tutorial. Hold the harp firmly against the front of your teeth. Do not bite. Biting is not necessary and it might actually damage your teeth as opposed to just pressing it against the teeth like this. Make sure there is a gap between your teeth. Just imagine that you are maybe biting a pencil or something small. Experiment with the gap size. Optimally, it has to be wide enough for the reed to pass through. If you don't plug the reed very hard, um, a much smaller gap will do. Now for some basic jaw hop drills to practice. First of all, let's try and pretend like we're, we're saying a vowel, a certain vowel, but without actually producing a sound. So let's say the sound ah, uh, without using the vocal cords. Or the sound O, or the sound E, and now we can actually combine those together while we play rhythmically. We kind of jumped ahead there because the next step I wanted to show you is actually breathing, so that you can use either through your nose or through your mouth. Both have their distinct characteristics, and um, when you use, when you breathe through, breathe through your mouth, you can um, enhance the sound in a particular way. So I'll now I'll try and breathe out and in, out and in, taking turns. That was that. So now we'll go quickly, like double tempo, in out. That's a bit more advanced, but to start with, just Try and experiment with the sound, having the air moving in and out of your mouth while you're plucking the trigger. And uh, this is the sound without breathing and with breathing. Let's do a quick recap. Hold the harp as you like, basically, while it can still play. Uh, well, um, plug inward. Play around with this, with the, uh, with your grip, and uh, and just have fun. Here are some basic jaw hop maintenance tips. Some hops are made of stainless steel, but in general, it's best practice to wipe your instrument off with a piece of cloth and apply a bit of food grade oil. Uh, I like to use a bit of coconut oil or shea butter, but any, everything you got in the kitchen will do the trick. Just don't use anything not intended for food. Now to some tips to learn faster and play longer. You'll probably find that fatigue is your biggest enemy when it comes to learning to play the harp. That's because your body is not used to 
to the way of holding the instrument or to the to the motions involved and uh, therefore it can get challenging to adjust and, and uh, use your body in a new way. However, there are certain things you can do to solve this. First, you can try another grip to introduce variation. You can also use a harp with a big and uh, easy to hold frame, such as this one, for example, this is pretty easy to hold. Or you can even change hands. Yes, that's super difficult in the beginning, but it's a massive advantage to be able to play with both hands. You could also do some stretching exercise with your hands before you play. This can definitely increase mobility and stamina if you want to play for longer sessions. And if you could do like a whole body a run or a workout or a yoga session or whatever, that would also help you a lot. Why play the jaw harp? Playing the jaw harp or mouth harp as it's also known, is uh, healthy. First of all, the breathing serves as a good exercise for the lungs. It's also relaxing. Playing the harp has a meditative effect and uh, produce, produces nice vibrations. But most of all, of course, it's fun. Playing the jaw harp is very rewarding and boosts your mood. It's also a great conversation starter and a fun instrument in a jam with other people. For example, somebody playing drums, percussions, or even electronic music or vocals or whatnot. Can playing the jaw harp damage my teeth? To this date, I have not heard of or encountered any cases of tooth damage from harp playing. If you use proper technique, you should be perfectly fine. Certainly, if you're using something with a fairly smoothed out uh, frame, like this, or like this, there should be no issues. Honestly, sometimes I do have, I do have uh, a slight worry when I'm using something like a mochang, which can be a bit gritty and a bit, and a bit, uh, a bit rough and gritty in the surface and sharp. And uh, it also tastes of metal, but so far no issues whatsoever. Where can I get a nice jaw harp? Well, there are several online and offline stores that sell nice harps. Some of the popular choices include shamanic.ru, oberton.pro, theharpery.com, shout out to the harpery. Um, and um, one of my favorites in Ireland is called Gandalva Loka, which means the abode of the celestials, of the celestial musicians. That's a difficult word. Also on eBay and Etsy, you can sometimes find pretty cool instruments as well. Not only harps. Besides that, there are probably many other stores that I'm not familiar with. So feel free to comment down below if you happen to know some cool, reliable stores that sell nice jaw harps. How old is the jaw harp? It's around 1700 years old. And uh, where does it come from? It originates from Asia, as far as we know. But it, it's kind of all over the place. You have harps throughout the, the entire planet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like if you found this video useful and dislike if you didn't. Tickle that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications for more videos like this. And of course, let me know down below if you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video. Much love.